Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the Engineering and Technical Manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to talk about Rego Plus tool holders. Rego Plus tool holders are made to the exacting standards from Big to Showa. That means RegoFix is a licensed manufacturer. What we make actually meets all the specifications for the Big Plus system. So why is this important when the patent has expired? Well, let's go through a few things. First off, RegoFix offers our Rego Plus system in both the Power Grip and the ER product lines. That gives you the most versatility that you have out there with super precision and clamping force with your everyday applications. But let's get back to why it's important to be Big Plus certified and licensed. Being Big Plus licensed or certified gives you all the details to actually manufacture the product to meet the Big to Show of specifications for the Big Plus line, or as we call it, Rego Plus. It gives us the manufacturing specifications, the gauging, and it allows us to properly measure each one of our tool holders to make sure it fits into your Big Plus spindle properly. Well, as a quick example, let's talk about the taper itself. The taper itself on a Big Plus Rego Plus tool holder has a tolerance of less than one micron. That's very, very tight, and that's just on the taper itself. That does not include the tolerance to the bottom of the flange. If I am using a standard dual plus or dual contact tool holder from an unlicensed manufacturer, well, most of them, if you read their specifications, still say that it's an AT3, and that's over three times worse than a standard AT1 specification. So am I likely to get full taper contact and flange contact if I have three times the tolerance? Probably not. So what happens when I take an unlicensed dual contact tool holder and put it in my spindle? Well, let's bring up some graphics and talk about it. When using standard dual contact tool holders, I only have three options for my fit. I have flange contact only, and here from the graphic you can see that only the flange face is actually contacting the, the tool spindle. Well, what happens here is my tool holder can now move. It's going to cause poor runout, poor accuracy, and a lot of chatter and vibration. Most likely, it's going to damage my spindle even with one use. So that's option number one. That is worst case scenario, what happens with a standard unlicensed dual contact type of tool holder. The other scenario is you actually get taper contact only. This is where the taper itself makes all the contact and there is still a gap underneath of the flange. Well, if I'm paying for big plus tool holders and I'm expecting it to work, I've just lost all of the big plus advantages by not having that flange contact. My third and most desired outcome is I actually do end up with flange and taper contact just as you have with the Rego Plus system. This gives me my stability, added rigidity, and 43% more contact than standard tool holders. So you get a lot more bang for your buck when you look at a true licensed product over an unlicensed copy. In a study performed by Big Deshoa, they found that only 16% of unlicensed dual contact holders only fit well enough to have taper and flange contact. I guess the question you have to ask yourself, are you willing to bet your big plus spindle on a 16% chance that a non-licensed holder will fit? RegoFix offers a full line of Rego Plus tool holders in the ER system and the power grip system in 30 taper, 40 taper, and 50 taper options. Please see our website, download our flyer, gather the information you need. Don't gamble on your big plus machine spindle.